Welcome back, everybody, on this Football Friday edition of Hot Mike. Getting ready for what's going to be a great day of football. We mentioned we got games coming up at the Dome here about a half hour, all spread across the Metro as well. North Dakota High School football playoffs resume. We'll preview that coming up in our second hour. I mentioned that off the top, though, game of the year in Minnesota, round two tonight. They just played three weeks ago in Alexandria. Morehead beat the Cardinals 36-34 and a heart stopper. By virtue of that, Morehead gets to host the Section 8 5A championship game tonight at Jim Goda Stadium as Alexandria will become calling tonight. The winner moves on to the state tournament. Other than that, nothing else at stake, Kevin Feeney, for this one tonight. But uh, this was what we expected when you guys played three weeks ago. I guess, how much did you hammer home the fact, hey, we got to earn this home game by virtue of what you guys did three weeks ago by beating them? Well, that, that was the main topic leading up to that game because I think both teams from the beginning of the year, you know, Alexandria definitely planned on being in this game. And I don't know if everybody in the outside world planned us being in this game, but we definitely thought we had a team that, that would be able to compete. And uh, so leading up to the game three weeks ago, it was really just round one of a two-round fight <laughs> is what we thought. And like you said, it, it was going to be big for us because we won the opportunity to host the section championship. And, and it's a neat deal for our community. How often have you been asked about, I'll, I'll give it to you here, how hard is it to beat the same team twice in a year? Yeah, it's it's crazy. But you know what, this this rivalry goes way back. You we know, talked yeah. about this last time. I mean, it, it, you know, when I shook hands with Mike after the game was over three weeks ago, it was, how could it not come down to the last play when these two teams are on the field? So, um, you know what, it, it's going to be a heck of a football game. I, like I said, I think everybody anticipated this matchup. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it is difficult playing a team twice. But on the same token, I feel like, we know each other so well, and, and there's going to be the little things and tweaks that each team is going to make. And uh, now it's just kind of, I, I gave the old slogan. I, our kids don't even know what hay in the barn means, but I actually said it <laughs> yesterday, Don. They probably looked at you like eight heads, right? Yeah, they, yeah. they had no clue what that meant, but that, that's okay. <laughs> I want to go back to that game a couple weeks ago. The Just turnovers happen. I mean, was your heart in your throat when Almendinger fumbles the football? I mean, you played a great game up to that point, and then you played a clean game up to that point. We did, you know, what? and, and that, was the, that was the best part of that is, is I thought both teams played, you know, a good football, right? It wasn't one team that just didn't come out and do what they thought they could do, and yeah, you know, when you have an unfortunate turnover, like, especially in that time of the yeah. game where we feel like we just get the first down, we're going to kneel it out, but you know what, in, in honest, you know, like we talked about it as a staff, up to that point, we hadn't experienced a ton of adversity on our football team. And so for our football team to go through that and then have to be able to, you know, put up a defensive stop to not let them score, but then number one, come down to a field goal when they've got one of the best, or if not the best field goal kicker in Minnesota history for all I know. But, um, you know, all those things happen for a reason. And I really believe it was just kind of to test us. And I, I was really proud of our kids. Our kids did not unravel. Our kids did not implode and, and they just kept competing and that's what's going to have to happen tonight because there's there's going to be highs and lows tonight there's no doubt about it anytime you put these type of teams together it, there's going to be some challenges the we're watching here the kick and for people who don't know daniel jackson is going to the gophers the bison i believe offered him first so i've known about this kid for a little bit so the game's coming down and i'm like oh of course alex got the best kicker in the state uh, it's gonna so when you see the kick he misses it give me what You've been a part of some big games. What was the reaction after that? Well, it was, it, you know, in my mind, I was, like I said, it, in my mind, it was, hey, we we, we played a good football game. No matter what happens yeah. in this, we're, we're going to be around when this is all said and done. And I'm sure they feel the same way, right? And But, um, you know what, we, we, had, we had had a plan for field goal. I mean, our, our plan all week, we were we felt like there was one place we could attack. And, um, you know, Rain, Rain says he got a finger on it, and we're going to live by that. And it just <laughs> made it just go just enough to the left, and that's all we need. So now with the second game around, and we were visiting off air, you have to expect they're going to throw everything at you that maybe they save because they figured you're going to see you again. How do you prepare for something like that? Well, you know, the practice maybe this week went a hair longer than what we normally would like to this time of year, but you kind of want to cross all the T's and dot all the I's, right? And all the end of game situations that you cover all year, but you know, you want to make sure that that the kids are real solid on what our expectation and what the what the plan is. But um, you know what, you you when you have the history, like I said, we've got a lot of things on film throughout the last 
10 to 14 years that we've been playing each other. And so you kind of go back and you look how some of the things that, you know, have changed, but yet a lot of the staff on both teams are the same. And so there's going to be tweaks that we probably haven't seen this year, but maybe what we've seen in years past. And we've tried to get our kids ready for that also. How was the mood this week? Was I assume you didn't have, you don't have to fire anybody up. So what was it during practice the last few days? Nah, it was, it was really focused. Uh, you can tell it on Monday, Monday when they came to practice and, and even on, on Saturday in the semifinal game, the second the game was over, you could tell the kids were like, all right, <laughs> it's finally here. Let's get ready and let's play this game that everybody's been waiting for. And um, you know what, now it's just got to come out. And I, I've been telling myself this all week, you know, different than our kids, but you got to come out and we got to play good football. And that means being relaxed and being confident. And, and we just talk about preparation, right? Preparation is what, creates confidence and if, if you feel good about the plan you feel solid about what your assignments are then it's just go out and play football and that's what we got to do tonight i'm interested kevin this when alex has a bunch of experienced guys older guys you guys are experienced but sophomores for the most part juniors is that is that a deal is that something that could play out in a game like this it, it could you know and, and definitely you would you would lean i'm sure more on the senior stuff but we we feel like you know what our, our like you said our, our sophomores that are playing at a high level They've been, they've been playing for a while now, yeah. and so they've been in big games, and um, they've been in big games in not just the sport of football, and, and, and I think that's going to, you know, pay dividends for us tonight, but, you know, I, I've said this before that, you know what, when you have young guys, maybe they don't know what they don't know, and that's <laughs> okay, too, and you just go out and you ball and you play, you play to win, and I think this group just feels like, you know what, we've got a good football team, they got a good football team, let's just go duke it out and see what team is uh, standing when it's all said and done. Boy, things are rolling when you get two guys also to announce football commitments to play college ball this week. You had that. That's just you got to be over the moon on on those commitments this week too. It it is, and you know what? We've just got a bunch of really good kids, and you know, they, like you know, no offense, but we, you know, everybody likes to talk about some of the young guys that we have, but we got a great group of seniors, and and that's what it comes down to is this group of seniors wasn't the most highly successful teams yeah. growing up right and so what they've really done is just put in a ton of work and they gelled together and and let all the other pieces to the puzzle come together and and that's where you know guys like heaton and jonah they put in their time i mean don these guys haven't played a ton of high school football but their senior years and leading up to it yeah. they've worked really really hard and it their 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 labor is coming you know, the fruits of their labor is really coming to fruition for them. I'm going to get you in trouble and ask you a question you have no control over, but I want to ask anyway, because I'm looking at 6A has how they do their tournament. Would 5A be more beneficial if it was more statewide and not a section like it is? Because, I mean, both these teams deserve to keep playing beyond, uh, that's just my opinion, beyond tonight. Yeah, you know what, I, I I don't think you're wrong on that. I think if you were to say, you know, that the two teams battling out in Moorhead tonight are probably the top handful of teams right. in the state, right? And you know, there's always those tweaks, and and yeah, I had no doubt about it. I, I I feel like both these teams should be playing at U.S. Bank some, you know, in a few weeks. But unfortunately, that's not the cards we're dealt. There's yeah. nothing we can do. But yeah, you're right. I mean, six A football, how they're doing it, and they their goal is is to get the best teams in at the end. And um, you know, it's it's an evolving thing. I, you know, like you said, I got no control over it, and not, neither does Mike. But um, it, it's going to make for an op awesome opportunity. You know, normally maybe you'd say this game would be played at U.S. Bank yeah. about three weeks from yeah, now, right? but hey, Moorhead community gets to come out and watch some great football tonight, so I encourage everybody to come out and watch. I don't think there's actually going to be a seat to be had, frankly. I mean, I, I've been I've been known to be prisoner of the moment. I'll take the, the hit on that. Is this the biggest game you've coached at Moorhead tonight? Uh, you know what? That, that, I, that's a great question. I, I have no idea. I, I think, you know, to host this game has been huge yep. and, and our kids, like I said, you, and you said it best, the, the key word is earned. They've earned the right to host this game. And um, no matter where it's going to be played, I mean, we always go in with the mindset we'll play in the parking lot and, and <laughs> Moorhead, I mean, you got to be willing to do that. Right. Because uh, neutral sites typically for us are not neutral sites. <laughs> and uh, so we got to take advantage when we're at yep. home here. You bring in a, I, I know there's going to be some people at this game. Are you bringing some stars of the past? Is Ch can we get Morlock out there? What do you, what do you, you got anything planned tonight? Hey, you know what? No, we're going to, we're going to just try to let this thing roll out. But yeah, I, it's always fun. You know, I get an opportunity to see a lot of our former players yeah. that come out and I've gotten a ton of messages throughout the week and specifically this morning that, that there's guys that are super excited and that that's what's so fun, right? I mean, when you have guys 
that are they're well past their college years and they're into their adult life and they're still paying attention yeah. and and want to be around it that that's really cool that's a neat feeling for us well we were visiting off air and you've reached big time status as well when you have division one staff's going to be at the game tonight that you're going to have that with not only what alexandria brings to the table you guys you obviously have some guys that are are warning high profile division one looks it is, and and that's what's that's what's awesome, and, and and that's what I you know when you got this type of skill level on the field yeah. on the same place, um, you know there's there's going to be a lot of eyes on it, and and it's it's fun, right? But I, I go back to a handful of years ago when Otis and Kayser and Brevin Ford were yeah. on the field, and we had a ton of Division Pretty One coaches at that game, yeah. and so you know when you when you do this long enough, there there's a lot of neat moments, but you got to also be in the moment, right? And I think that's one big thing that that I do want our kids to just all of a sudden at one point tonight just look around. Because how many kids get an opportunity to experience an, uh, something like that's going to happen tonight? It's it's rare, and you know, for us as coaches, it it doesn't get old. And I'm not I'm not saying that you know like it it, it there'll be a lot of you know butterflies in everybody on our sideline tonight. But really, once a ball gets kicked off, it's go time, and it's it's let's play football. And um, you know, our slogan all year is let's let's be the hammer. That's what I was going to ask you. For you, you've been around by games. You get the butterflies tonight when you address the team before you take the field. What what are the what are your emotions for that? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I usually uh, last night is usually never a great night for me. <laughs> I, I get it on my mind as I'm doing my call sheet. But uh, you know what? I when I get into pregame, I just love to watch the kids and just see how they're how they're preparing and the look on their faces. And that's what's been awesome about this group: the look on their face in pregame. I know when our team is dialed in and there's no doubt I've seen it in practice this whole week. Mm. And um, there's kind of like this quiet, you know, calming before the storm. And, and I, and I expect both teams to come out and play really well. And like I said, if, if you've done everything that, that you should or could do, no regrets. I mean, we got a lot of dumb slogans, but that's been one of them too, <laughs> is no regrets. Let's, let's just let it go and, and see where we, where, where we fall tonight is this is captain obvious question. So I apologize, but is a quick start mandatory in a game like this or with knowing the opponent as well as you do, is it not as big? No, nah, you know what? I, I like fast starts and I thought that was a key in our first game. And when we played them, we, we did get a, a defensive stop right away and then had an offensive possession that went down and was successful. And so I think it just, you know, it gets you in, in groove. Right. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I, I've really talked and, and really hammered home this week that there, there's going to be highs and lows, guys. There's going to be things that go well for us, and there's going to be things that aren't on, on the script for us tonight. But how we respond to that is going to really play it out. So, yeah, I'd love I'd love to have a fast start, but if unfortunately that doesn't happen, I'll, I'll flip the script right away and just say, hey, you know what? This is a four quarter fight, and just stay in the fight, and let's keep you know keep those jabs going, and let's go for the knockout late. So, do you have the the Herb Brooks, the new new Rockney speech before the game, or no? You, you, you don't need that tonight. You know that 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 that's going to be a game time decision. <laughs> let's just say, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell myself because Don, these guys will laugh. I'll be saying, "Oh, I'm going to go into the locker room. I'm going to be really, really calm." And and just in about one minute into the pregame, I'm I'm on fire and and I'm letting it rip. So I, I don't know. I we'll 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 see how that plays out tonight. This quarterback you're facing is obviously going to go play basketball in the ACC. He's quite good. Where does he rank in the guy the quarterbacks you faced in all your your coaching career? How good is this guy? Oh, he He's way up there. Okay. There's no doubt about it. And like when you got a senior three year starter and like you said, a division one athlete and um, he can sling it. Right. I mean, and, and, and we've got to be cognizant that he can extend a play and have a big enough arm where, where guys can be well downfield and, and he's going to have the arm strength to get it there. And so our DB has got to stay locked in and, and play the full, full play until the whistle blows. But um, you know what, we, we've also got to be able to be physical with them. Right. I mean, what, what quarterbacks and me included, what quarterbacks <laughs> like getting hit. And so we, we've got to be disruptive and we've got to be able to get some touches on them and, and hopefully some balls will go our way. You can have the ghosts of Morlock Lawrence out there. I'm trying to think a few others, you know, for that, this, uh, it just, it, it, it seems fitting for these two teams to be playing. You just, it, this is what it's all about. Friday night game. You're going to have a huge crowd. It's to go to state. That's, that's pretty good recipe there. It is. It is. And that, and you hit it. I, I, I think our school all week and it's, and it's, it's been challenging for the kids, right? Because they hear it for, from everybody, whether it's at home or in school. And I just said, you know what? You don't have to say anything. Let's just go out and prove it. And let's do our thing. Uniform combo. Most important question is last one. What do you got tonight? Hey, they gave me orange on orange tonight, baby. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> 
Oh, you're not losing now. I'm going to say it right now. That's not you're not going <laughs> to lose in there. It's great to see you, bud. I'll see you at the game tonight. All right. Thanks for the time this morning. Hey, appreciate it. Stay warm tonight. So, there it goes. Kevin Feeney, head coach of the Moorhead Spuds. Moorhead and Alexandria coming up tonight, 7 o'clock from Jim Goda Stadium. Of course, we'll have highlights on our news, part of First Down Friday on WDAY at 10 o'clock. Uh, Court and I are going to the game. It's pretty. It's a big deal. There's going to be a lot of people over in Moorhead tonight, and I know the Gophers are going to be there. I know the Bison are going to be there tonight. I believe a couple other schools as well. South Dakota State going to be there tonight. Um, yeah, that's the amount of talent on there. Jackson is already committed. Daniel Jackson is the kicker. He's signing with the Gophers. Thompson, the quarterback, has committed to play basketball at Clemson for Alexandria. So you got two D1 guys there. Tay Rich, the outstanding running back for Moorhead. He's already been offered by Chris Kleiman in Kansas State after his freshman year. He's took a game day visit to Nebraska. So he's going to play Division One football somewhere. Um, Rain Battle's going to play in the NSIC. A couple more guys I just mentioned uh, committed this week. you got dudes everywhere. David Mack, one to watch, a wide receiver, is an outstanding player. It's, uh, it's going to be a dynamite game. Can't wait for that one tonight. Coming up 7 o'clock over in Moorhead. We'll take our final break. We'll wrap up our one big second hour on tap, including our weekly NFL picks. Back on Hot Mike right after this.